Hi, today I'm going to talk about non-compete clauses. We all hear about them. Not all of us know exactly what that means or what that implies. Non-compete means that you don't compete with the business that you're working in at this particular time. But that doesn't, it's more complicated than it sounds. For example, let's say you are involved in doing software. Well, they can't, no one can say you can't ever do software because you have to earn a living and no one can deprive you of your living. So then you have to define it more precisely. What kind of software are you doing? How is it defined so that when you do take another job, you're not violating the non-compete clause? And other companies will want to see your agreements before they hire you because they don't want to have problems. So. For your personal protection and your ability to get a future job, it's essential that you define very clearly exactly what it is you're not going to, you're going to compete about. Another non-compete issue is that you can't go after employees of your employer for a period of time and ask them to join your new organization. Um, one of the issues is how long it's going to be. Again, it can be for two years, three years, it can't be for forever. And it must be reasonable in scope and geography. If I have a bagel shop, and someone says you can't open a bagel shop in town, that could be fair. But someone says you can't open a bagel shop in the United States, it's not fair because there's no logic to it. You're not competing if you're out of town. So again, these are all terms that have to be defined, have to be understood. Um, again, if you've got any questions about this, feel free to give a call. Thank you.